So, volume one is complete. I'm so happy to finally share it with you, and I'll make sure to link it in the description of this video, but first, I'd like to get a few things straight. Yes, this story is just one big allegory for fictionkins, meaning there's going to be some graphic descriptions of memories, including deaths, in this story. That brings me to my next point. I am not trying to demonize anyone of any identity within the story. Yes, the main characters are violent, but that's because I just like writing anti-heroes as my protagonists. If I want to give my main cast the same twisted moral compass as Deadpool, I can, because this is my AU. The next thing I'd like to mention is the content warnings. This story does contain topics that may be triggering to some readers, such as violence, depictions of discrimination, heavy gore, and body horror. Most of the body horror comes in the form of self-mutilation, such as Arctic's death. Yes, there are extremely gruesome retellings of iconic Wings of Fire death slash injuries, such as Arctic's death mentioned before, Albatross's death, and Scarlet's encounter with Rainwing Venom. I did not want to hold back when I did this. Another warning is that the first and second part of Arc 2 are loosely based on real experiences I had in the past, as well as fears that still haunt me today. So if you are sensitive to implications of toxic relationships and misogyny, maybe steer clear of Arc 2 or read it with caution. The whole arc isn't centered around it, as I didn't want to dwell on it for too long, but it's still there. There are also some various adult jokes. This is just my sense of humor. Take it or leave it. Now, the setting. The introduction in part one of the first arc actually gives a good description of what this AU is like. This includes Burn winning the war, Nightwings never leaving the Old Kingdom, only some did, the volcano never erupting, the other continents knowing of each other's existence before the events of the Lost Continent, Scavengers never being human, and other kingdoms such as the Hidden World and Commandra existing. I think I, I, think I pronounced that correctly. Yes, this is a crossover, but most of the story takes place on Pyra. Also, it's not really explained, but the Icewing ranks are different. Instead of ra rankings, based on how strong, obedient, and brave a dragon is, the ranks are used to categorize who's in place within society. The first circle is the queen, the second circle is the king, the third circle is their children, fourth is other family members, fifth is extended family, such as third cousins to the fourth circle members, or just dragons who supposedly have royal blood, but aren't close to the current royal family. Sixth is the military, and seventh are commoners. Finally, I'd like to mention the characters. Okay, so, the characters. There's a lot of them, and I will be making a full list of known headcanon voices soon. I'll even link it to this video if I can. You may already know of a few, such as Downside, Flipside, and Jackal, if you watch my OC Kin type showcase. Just keep in mind that not all the characters in that list of headcanon voices appear in the first volume. I plan to add them to the second volume when I begin working on it. I do plan to make documents about just certain characters, which I will link to either a different vi video or a community post in the future. Anyway, I might as well end the video here. I'm so glad I finally finished Biomechanical, and if you want to read the soundtrack on Spotify, you can. Just search up Biomechanical Volume 1. I hope those of you who read it enjoy it, and tell me what you think if you want to. I'd love to hear what you have to say. <laughs>